Man, I woke up late. I was doing so much math homework. Ugh, and math first period? What a drag. And I have a test tomorrow. Crap, I don't even know what I'm doing. Maybe I should go in for extra help. Nah, it's too late for that. Sometimes I wish I was in private school. These tests are impossible. Maybe if I went to another school, it would be easier. Ugh, I hate math so much. It's so hard at my school. How am I even going to get into university with such bad math marks? It's one of my prerequisites. I need this class. I wonder how other people feel about this. It's not uncommon to hear students complain about the difficulty of their math program. Many students would agree that there is a varying degree of difficulty across different schools in the GTA. So we took it upon ourselves to find out what other students and teachers had to say about the Ontario math curriculum. And we found that we were faced with a controversy regarding varying curriculums, grading systems, and teaching styles from school to school. Well here, oh man, here it's really hard. I'd say out of 10, it'd probably be like, like an eight. And then at DVA, maybe like a seven, like I, I lied, six, five, five, six. <laughs> Oh. Let me say this. Uh, for York Mills, I would probably rank it 8 or 9 out of 10. For DVA, I'd say it's uh, 6 to 8, depending on who you are. Honestly, I'd give Pretty it about a 9. It's pretty hard. I'd say a 9. It's pretty challenging. I'd say it's about like an 8 out of 10. It depends on the student, too. New York Mills. I think York Mills has the hardest math program. York Mills. That's it. York Mills and Pearl Hag. York Mills. Probably like York Mills or like AY Jackson. While York Mills has the self-proclaimed hardest math program in the TDSB, many students turned towards private schools to get the marks they needed to get into university. However, many students find it unfair that they're competing for the same university acceptance, working much harder, yet still unable to attain a desired mark. extremely negatively. These schools are not inspected enough. They basically sell credits with no knowledge. I've seen kids who were miserably failing in our school getting high ages in these private schools and I can't reconcile these two facts. I feel like um, private school programs are good if you need that extra mark boost but they're not good if you um, were failing math and you want to learn math and you're going into a program that involves math. I mean, at DVA, for me anyway, we actually have a teacher that like teaches, so we don't actually f like buy our mark. We still have to work pretty hard to get the, the mark that we want. At a, at a five level. At a five level. People are basically buying their um, credits. Uh, I don't think students are learning very much. At least this is my understanding of them. I don't know. Maybe there's differences between them. Um, yeah, I think they're terrible. Sorry, but I think they're not like as hard as programs at public schools. I don't think they're fair um, because you have this, you know, students who are supposed to be following the same curriculum and yet you have someone who's taking an accelerated version, perhaps an easier version from what I've heard from students themselves who are taking uh, private school courses, competing with someone who's taking it full time out of school. So there is a disadvantage there for sure. Uh, I think they're actually really good because they're short, they're small classrooms and the teacher really makes sure everybody grasps the concept before moving on. And they move at a pace that everyone can work at, not just at the top students. What about those who can't afford private school? Why should students have to avert public school courses? Obviously, if students are seeking private school courses, there's something wrong with the regular high school system. If private school were the solution, we'd all be in it. Here to talk, but it's much harder than the schools. I don't really know what other schools' math levels are like, but I guess relatively the same, I guess. 
actually, yeah, yo, can I treat like a university? Like, it's f***ing, they don't give you any notes, no exam reviews, no test reviews, like nothing, they don't tell you what's on it, they just give you the chapter and they give you like shit to the ground for that they think is important. It's like, what well, the I don't know if I should study this form, this form, it's like, yo, what should I study? It's like chapter four, it's like, thanks bro, it's like, there's a chapter review in every math textbook and like, and it's just it's a terrible thing, honestly. It is evident that there is a varying degree of difficulty across the board. But where do we draw the line? What is considered to be too difficult for grade 12s hoping to enter university? When does the course material become more detrimental rather than beneficial? Besides, if everyone believes that his or her school's math program is the hardest, who's to say which is in fact the most difficult? I can affect your average if you don't do as well in math as you do on other subjects. Well, I mean, most programs require math and like the top six, so taking it outside would probably be more beneficial just in terms of if you're trying to get like get into a, a program. Um, it's definitely stressful. A lot of people stress about their marks because you may have done well in the years past, but for some reason in grade 12, it's just the one year that matters and you can't get the mark that you need. So I think, um, yeah, of course people shouldn't expect high marks without working for them, but I think it should be fair marking for sure. Oh, so much. If you look at my top um, top six marks, like I have like a really good average and then math brings my average down more than 10%. So it's very upsetting because I want those entrance scholarships, but I'm not going to get them because of math. It definitely makes it higher, for sure. Well, I think that um, since the quality of work is harder, then obviously I'm not going to get as good of a mark, as opposed to someone who goes to a quote-unquote less educated or like a, an easier math school, they have a higher mark, even though they know less information, but the university doesn't care about how much information they know, they just want to see the big number. While the focus has been on the big number, students feel more pressure to achieve a higher average in order to even be considered for university. Although many believe it is a common misconception, the reality is that between 1983 to 1993, the admission averages for programs such as business, arts, science and engineering increased an average of 4%. Surprisingly enough, admission averages from 1993 to the present day for these exact same programs have increased an average of 19%. So what does this mean? Is the education that we are getting not as difficult or is it becoming more difficult? Teachers, on the other hand, believe that course material has been watered down, that they aren't asking the same difficulty of problems they did 10 years ago. Over the years, many have even adjusted their teaching style to suit the curriculum's needs. Um, it seems, in my opinion, to have gotten a little easier. I think moving from five years to four years when they made that change several years ago, they've had to um, take out some components uh, to accommodate a four-year program as opposed to five years. Um, so I feel that there is lesser material to begin with. I've seen the curriculum change, certainly at the younger grades, more on application and less of basics. You can't really do the problem solving unless you have the foundation. And so if you don't do the foundation, like if you don't know how to multiply, then you can't do apply multiplication. Like it's, it's a problem. Yeah. It's basically watered down. Every time curriculum changes, it gets watered down further and further. In grade 13, which we used to have many years ago, and now in grade 12, it sort of jumps out of nowhere to a much more difficult level. But now, every time curriculum changes, it gets watered down even further. So the gap between different countries widens. The level of curriculum in Canada is much lower, and you've probably heard it from kids who come from different countries. Like, they come in grade 9, and they find out that everything they're being taught in grade 9, they've long studied in grade 6 and 5 in their countries. Countries like... Um, Eastern European countries, countries like Iran, countries like China. Sam, who is a York Mills alumni, says, To be honest, in this age, it's all about getting into university. And with all the competition and an increasing number of immigrants coming from South Asia and East Asia, with a lot more knowledge than what most Canadian-born students have, the competition gets a lot tougher. 
Ontario students simply cannot compete with the grade 12 workload in comparison to those who have already been exposed to this material at a younger age. But who is really to blame? Ever since grade 13 was removed from the Ontario education system in 2003, students have been feeling more pressure than ever before. As a result of this change, two years of education have been combined into one, making the grade 12 curriculum move at a faster pace. This being said, the level of difficulty intensifies abruptly as the students enter high school, while the fundamentals aren't being established at the primary level. So what is the standard for math curriculums across Ontario? Yeah, I think standardized testing. I don't know that it's going to happen, but something like SATs or something. Yes, so there was the idea of standardized testing. Um, for all the students so that across the province, no matter where you've studied math, each student would be subjected to the same test and therefore we have a very good idea. Um, you would hope that everyone is learning the same material and that everyone would perform very well on that, so I think that that would be a good solution. Well, I think there has to be a common curriculum for the entire country, not just for every province, but for, for Canada, so that when kids travel from province to province, they have no problem getting into a school system with no gaps. I also think that um, there should be more rigorous curriculum in mid middle school and elementary school, math curriculum, because kids come to high school fully unprepared for the level of math we're teaching them in high school because we're mandated by the curriculum. With this constant change, where are we left at with the success of the students? While there's public school and private school, one arguably learns more at a much higher level, whereas the other simply buys their credits. It is unfair that such an inequality exists and that universities do not take this into account. If there were to be standardized testing for all graduating students across Ontario and possibly Canada, everyone would have an equal opportunity to succeed. Because at the end of the day, we are the future, and society depends on the success of its students.